three hundred and sixty five days, three hundred and sixty five messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for us today. Hello, friend. Today is October 10th, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, So That the World May Know. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. And it says, I implore Uriah and implore Sitchi to be of the same mind in the Lord. I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of the fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Who were Iota and Sintichi, two women believers of Macedonia, probably church leaders, and of whom we only know that they were enemies at the time Paul wrote his epistle to the Philippians? We do not know what the disagreement between Iodia and Sinchi was because the Apostle did not mention it specifically, but we assume that the conflict between these two sisters in Christ was affecting the whole church, and Paul decided to do something about it. What did the Apostle do to settle their differences? First, he implored them to put an end to their differences for the sake of the whole congregation. Second, he asked other faithful church members to intercede to help them reconcile. Finally, he asked them to be of the same mind in the Lord. In other words, he encouraged them to live in harmony as sisters in Christ and to forgive one another as the Lord had forgiven them. There is an important lesson in this small incident. Until the day of Jesus' second coming, there will be conflicts among church members, even among leaders. Let us remember that Yoda and Sintji labored with the apostle in the gospel of Christ. Paul said that their names were in the book of life. However, the apostle had to intervene to help them reconcile. What we are saying here is that it is normal for disagreements to occur among members of a congregation. What is unacceptable is that we allow these disagreements to separate us and worse divide the church. Did Iota and Sinchi finally reconcile? Probably, but we do not know. Even more important is this other question. Is there anyone in your congregation you need to reconcile with today? Whatever the cause of the disagreement, if the result has been separation, estrangement, or division, God's desire is for that person and you to become of the same mind in the Lord. Let us remember that, in order to save us, Christ humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Let us also remember his words to the disciples after announcing his death. By this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. John 13, verse 35. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we never want to be a stumbling block for our brethren in the faith. Help us to always behave in a way that promotes the unity of your flock. Only then will the world know that we are your disciples. In your name we pray today. Amen. We're glad that you joined us today for the devotional so that the world may know. Please join us again tomorrow. Our prayer for you today is that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and that his presence is with you throughout this day. Bye.